Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Catherine and today we are going to talk about an iconic makeup staple, the red lip. I know many of you might be thinking, oh I can't pull off a red lip, I can't do it. I'm going to show you how to prepare your makeup so that you can wear a red lip and look gorgeous, not clownish, but gorgeous. So I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm gonna kind of go through each step quickly because I, at the end, I wanna show you several different red lip options that could be something you might be willing to try. The theme of this is less is more. Because you're going to be putting this beautiful red lip on your lips, and that is gonna be the focus, we want to tone everything else down but we want it to look very clean, very natural, and also very put together. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, that in the simplest possible way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back. Now, typically when we think of a red lip, we think of kind of going out maybe for the holidays. I know a lot of us aren't going out for the holidays right now, but we think about maybe a holiday party, um, but really you can wear a red lip anytime. Um, so because of that though, I want to do makeup that will last because if you are going to a holiday party, you want your makeup to last. So this is going to be simple makeup that lasts. Okay. So I'm going to start with primer. I want to use a really good, strong primer. Today I am using this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which is going to give hydration but it's also going to grip my makeup and help it to stay in place longer. Okay, so the next step is picking a good foundation. I am picking the Dior Air Flash, and the reason is that it is a good, long-lasting foundation that is not heavy or cakey. So I'm going to take just a Kabuki-style foundation brush. You wanna shake this up well, and I'm gonna spray some on my hand and just go in from there, applying. I start in the center of my face and work out. Okay, so that gave me just a blank canvas to work with. It evened out my skin and it's not heavy or cakey. It makes the, my skin look like my skin and not look like I have a bunch of makeup on. And it's very long lasting. So the next step of course is a concealer. For this one I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath concealer because it is definitely a full coverage concealer. And again, I need this to last. I'm going to be using a dampened sponge. And I just wanted to take care of those dark circles. If I have any other uh, small parts of redness, like maybe around my nose, I can add a little bit of this concealer for that and that will help. I might build this just a touch on this side. Okay, for eye primer, I want a heavy duty one, even though I'm doing an incredibly simple eye. Again, the name of the game here is Lasting Power. So I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer, which is an incredibly white primer. I take the tiniest little drop and I put it on my hand and I usually just take a little blending brush and I blend that all over my eyelid. So you can see how white this, uh, I'll, I'll zoom you in so you can see, it literally just whites out my eye, um, which, my eyelid, which is great for long wearing makeup. So this is when I pull this out. Um, just to set that in place, after I've kind of let it settle, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Under Eye Powder. And I'm going to just gradually add a very tiny amount. I'm gonna make sure I have no creasing under the eye. a tiny amount here on my lids. I'm gonna do just a little bit of this powder around the nose too. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is set my face with a little bit of powder. Even though I want a very simple look, I do want a little bit of brightness and especially if this is a holiday party, I want a little bit of healthy glow. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier 
glow, translucent powder in the glow formula. And the key to this powder, some people have a hard time with it. The key to this powder is to really work it into your big fluffy brush, the smallest amount, and then gradually put that all over your face. If you put too much or you get too much in one place, it can almost look metallic. Like some people say they feel like they look like the Tin Man. But if you do this right, it gives you just the, the slightest little bit of glow, which is really beautiful on your skin. So the next uh, product that I'm gonna be using that's gonna be pretty critical to this look is the Hollywood Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. You get a very cool shaded bronzer and then a very subtle but nice highlight. So I'm going to take a bronzing brush. And again, I don't want to have too much on the face. I want the emphasis to be on the lips. So I'm just going to lightly contour and give a little bit of warmth to the face. So I've added my warmth to the face and I just love this product, particularly in the winter time. This bronzer is just a slight, it's a cooler shade and so it really does look nice um, when it is cooler outside. Okay, so now for blush. Again, I want to have a very natural looking flush on the face. Very light, but I also wanna have that little gentle blush. One of the best for this, an incredibly natural blush, is from Tarte, and this is their shade called Party. This is exclusive to Sephora, and this is actually a mini that I received as a Sephora gift one year, and it has just been one of my favorite natural, natural blushes, and it is perfect for wearing with a red lip. So I'm just gonna go in and um, add a little bit of blush. So as you can see, that's given me just a very, very light pinky kind of a shade, but nothing too crazy. And um, it really is blending really nicely into the skin and looking natural for the red lip. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into the Film Star Bronze and Glow palette, and we're gonna go into this highlight, which is a beautiful, subtle highlight. I'm using this Anastasia A23 brush and I'm just adding a little lightness and a little subtle glow to the face. This is a really subtle highlight. It's hard to overdo, but it really gives a nice brightness to the skin. Okay, so we'll be coming back to that palette in a little bit. Next step is doing my brows. I'm gonna do that off camera and then we'll come back and do eyes. Okay, so now we wanna talk about eyes. We want a very, very subtle look on the eyes. So we're gonna go into our bronzer. Just take a basic blending brush and we're just going to take that in the crease and then all over the eye just to give a really nice light base. This is a perfect bronzer for this because like I said, it's cool toned. So it's not going to put, you know, deposit a lot of color. So just a very neutral base on the eyes. The next thing I'm gonna do is go back into my blush. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. And this again, just helps to make the look very cohesive. Just gonna take my blush and I'm gonna put that a little bit above the crease. Just a little bit. It's gonna be super subtle. Nobody's really gonna see it, but it's just gonna make your whole look really pull together. And even though I really do love this highlight, I want a little bit more shine on the eyes. So I'm gonna take one of my very favorite MAC shadows. This is in the shade Naked Lunch. And this is gonna give me a little bit more of a shimmer. Not too much, because again, the focus is gonna be on the lips. But I'm just going to take this on a shader brush and put it all over the mobile lid. I love this shade. 
again, incredibly subtle, but has given a really nice natural look to the whole face. Okay, so next is going to be lining, and I am going to use, this is a Wayne Goss pencil. This is obsidian. I wanna use a black pencil because I feel like it's a good contrast between that and then the bright lip. So I'm gonna start off by tight lining my eye. That just gives it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to use a just a liner, an angled liner brush, and I'm going to lightly deepen up the lash line. And that's all I'm trying to do here. You can use a liquid liner too if you prefer. And then I'm just going to take this angled brush and I'm gonna go through and even it out, kind of smudge it slightly. Just make sure that it is completely put together. Then I'm gonna go on to the other eye. Okay, so now off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and just curl my lashes and put on some mascara. I'm just using this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because that is what I have, but, um, and I'm gonna do very, very light on the bottom lashes, just the lightest, have it be more on the top lashes. Okay, so I have done my eyes, my face. Now, because I want kind of long-term help with this makeup to make sure it stays on, I am gonna to go to my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now before I even put on the lip. Okay, so now on to the red lips. So um, I'm gonna be just putting on some red lips and I'll be showing you down below what the name of each product is. Um, I have a whole mix of products. I have some lip balms, I have a lip crayon, I have a lot of liquid lips, I have bullet lips. I'm just gonna show you this, and I've done this over multiple days because these products will really stain your lips so you wouldn't get to see a real natural look. The couple of tips I wanna say is that I tend to use a natural neutral eye, uh, lip liner when I do this. I've been using the KKW1, and I'll go ahead and line my lips so you can see that. I like to use a neutral instead of using a red lip liner. It's just harder with matching, and I like to have it be really more matching my lip color. Um, okay, so the other tip that I have for you is to use some lip balm before you put on a liquid lip, which is what I'll start with right now. One of my favorite lip balms to use underneath a liquid lip is this one from CoverGirl, and it is just a clear balm, and you don't want a lot. You kind of want to just dot your lip. You can use this on top of the liquid lip as well but I like to put just a little bit underneath. And again, you might even blot it a little, but a little bit of moisture. So with a red lip, you can either lean more towards the orangey side with more yellows in it, or you can lean more towards the blue side, which is a cooler, cooler version of the red. I tend to lean towards the cooler red, the blues. A great way to tell what works for your lips, and this is what I recommend, is go to the drugstore and find two different ones. Um, I'm gonna be showing you more on the blue side because that's what I like, but I will show you a few orange and you can see the difference. And um, I think it's just good to try, see which one works the best for you. I tend to love a liquid lip when I do this because when I put that on, I want it to last. Um, I highly encourage you giving this a try. It is amazing. Your teeth will look whiter. Your whole face will just light up. And as you can see, I have such a neutral base. This would be perfect for any bright lipstick that you're going to use if you wanted to go more fuchsia or deep berry or whatever, or more of an orange. This is a great base for that. And it's just a perfect neutral base. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on some red lipsticks.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video all about wearing a red lip. I still have on the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Pioneer. It may be my favorite one. It's just such a nice deep blue toned red and I just love the way it looks. And again, the makeup is not taking away from anything because this is the focus. So um, I definitely could put a little bit of a clear balm like the CoverGirl on top. That's going to give me a little bit more moisture because this one is um, slightly drying, but it will stay on all day. It is amazing and all night. Um, this is a great product, this CoverGirl Clear Lip Balm. You could also put a clear gloss on, but um, if you want to kind of keep more of a matte look, I would recommend doing a, a balm like this. And I love this one from CoverGirl. So what do you think? Do you have a favorite red lip? Let me know in the comments below. Would love for you to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. Uh, we like to talk about skincare, we like to talk about makeup, and we really generally just have a great time here. So hope you will come back and join us again, and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something about wearing a beautiful red lip.